Damian Priest's SummerSlam opponent might have just been revealed, and it's a pretty surprising name. So we'll see what's up there. We'll also check out what's going on with the rest of the Judgment Day. Starting things off with everything related to the Judgment Day situation, because there's quite a lot going on there, but it all somehow connects with each other. This story started back on the July 1st edition of Raw with a backstage talk between Damian Priest and Dominic Mysterio. And they don't waste any time at all before getting into some big reveals. Damien Priest questions Dominic on if he's spoken to Rhea Ripley lately. Dominic says that he's spoken to her and that everything is cool and good. But that's when Damien Priest reveals that he just finished speaking to Rhea Ripley and that she's extremely upset. Which is a clear sign that Dominic was obviously lying when he said he recently spoke to her. So, that means the most recent time Dominic spoke to Rhea Ripley was still immediately after King and Queen of the Ring. So, they're now going on two months without any sort of contact, which isn't exactly ideal for a couple. Dominic says he's going to handle this entire live situation later in the night. And Damien Priest calls Dominic out for saying that every single week, but nothing ever actually happens. Dominic said that this entire situation isn't even his fault and how Damien Priest is starting to sound like his dad. They walk into Judgment Day's locker room to find Liv Morgan hanging out and playing WWE 2K24 with the rest of the group. Finn Balor and Damien Priest then go off into a corner to speak privately and things get very interesting. Damien tells Finn that it's not cool for Liv to be hanging out with the group and how it has to stop. Finn argues that Damien can feel however he wants about Liv, but that the fact that she helped bring the tag team titles back to the Judgment Day and how the real issue here is actually Damien Priest. Finn notes that Damien is putting in his Judgment Day spot in jeopardy and even brought up Damien's comments from a few weeks back where he told Seth that the Judgment Day needs him way more than he needs them. Damien Priest explains that he said nothing wrong and that since he's the world champion, the group does need him more. Finn Balor ends things off by telling Damien Priest that the honest truth is that ever since he won the world title, he changed. So that really establishes that there's growing tension there and him feeling that way about Damien Priest is probably why he's been quietly working with Liv Morgan. Seth Rollins eventually comes out to talk about his upcoming match with Damien Priest, but he gets interrupted by Finn Balor. Finn says he's putting the blame on Seth Rollins for when it comes to why Damien Priest is changing. But Seth turns around and says Finn is just jealous that Damien Priest has got the one thing that Finn never won, and that's the world title. Damien Priest comes out and says he doesn't want Finn Balor or anyone else in his business. Finn attacks Seth from behind, but it's clear that Damien Priest did not want that to happen. He even picked Finn off of Seth. Damien only attacked Seth after Seth had taken out Finn. So it looks like Damien Priest was taking the babyface route here. He didn't want to attack Seth from behind or attack him at all, but Finn Balor did. And that's where the disconnection was at. Considering that Damien Priest is the only Judgment Day member that isn't friendly towards Liv Morgan, and how Rhea Ripley even accepted his call when she hadn't spoken to anyone else, it seems like that's all clues that Damien Priest could slowly be transitioning into a baby phase. Rhea Ripley's on his side, he's trying to talk some sense into Dominic, and he's now on the opposite side of everything with Finn. Just all big signs of a potential babyface turn. Although Seth Rollins is his current rival, it looks like this edition of Raw had already made the picture pretty clear of who Damian Priest's SummerSlam challenger will be, and that's Finn Balor. Like we spoke about last week, the whole narrative of Damian Priest's title reign so far is that he's never picked up a clean win over his challengers and always had outside interference help from either the Judgment Day or CM Punk. And it looks like more spotlight could come towards that narrative during the buildup of SummerSlam, where Finn Balor could throw that fact in Damian's face that he always needs outside interference to retain his title. And maybe this could also serve as a part of the reason why Finn is going to come after Damian's world title. Maybe Finn does feel like Damien is a cheap champion and he feels like the world title should be with him.
which would lead towards Damian Priest versus Finn Balor for the world title at SummerSlam. It's very interesting, though, because we're starting to see and understand why Finn Balor has been acting strange himself over the last few weeks. And it has nothing to do with him viewing Damian Priest as an issue that needs to be dealt with. And things could get ugly there with a mini Judgment Day Civil War. And the whole group is sort of against Damian Priest right now. Finn Balor thinks he's changed. Dominic thinks he's starting to sound like Rey Mysterio. Just everyone from the group doesn't appear to be on the same page as Damian Priest. So if Finn and Damian face off, it's highly possible that Finn will have the entire Judgment Day behind him, while the only one on Damian's side would be Rhea Ripley, technically. And that does seem to be the end game here. By the end of this storyline, all the original Judgment Day members will be gone from the group. Edge left the group a very long time ago, and after he left, Damien Priest and Rhea Ripley were left as the last remaining original members. But with Rhea and Damien appearing to be on the brink of getting tossed out from the group, this could be the mark of the end of the original Judgment Day members being in the group. The Judgment Day looks like they'll all be entering a new era, that could include Finn Balor gaining full control of the group, keeping all of its other current members, and even bringing in Liv Morgan as well. Leaving Damien and Rhea all on an island by themselves to take on this new version of the Judgment Day. You can look at it as karma. Damien and Rhea brutally kicked Edge from the group. And now, just a few years later, Rhea and Damien are slowly getting pushed out of the back door of the group themselves. So it doesn't look like Rhea Ripley will ever be a Judgment Day member again, and it appears that Damien Priest is currently in the final weeks as a member, before all this tension eventually boils over in the coming weeks. The only question left to ask at this point is if Damien Priest will be able to successfully retain his title over Finn Balor, or will this be the moment that Finn Balor finally wins a world title? If Finn is successful, that means his leadership could take Judgment Day back to the top, because at that point, they'll have the world title, women's world title, and the tag team titles all in their possession. So Finn's scheme appears to be pretty clear. It's all going to come down to Damien Priest being ready for it and trying to counter it in the best way possible. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.